Hey guys, this is Melon B or Melon from Facebook or Melon B .com. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I do have the fan on, the ceiling fan, and I don't know if you guys are going to be picking any of that noise up, but just in case you do, if you hear any odd noise, that's probably it. I do have some stuff to show you guys this time actually. Um, I finished some knitting, knitted items as well as crochet items. Let me start with the knitted ones. Uh, this one is from last time. Did I show this to you guys last time? Uh, this was made, um, I'm pretty sure it was at least a work in progress. It's the bandana cowl. And if I'm showing it to you again, I'm sorry about that. Um, but it's blocked this time. Uh, this is a free pattern called the bandana cowl. And this one was made with my hand spun. Um, again, it is blocked. I really like how it turned out. So it is a cowl and as you can see the front has a pointed Put an edge that way it will cover your neck area it's really soft i really like it and again this was made with, with some of my hand spun i do still have a little bit left uh, i'm thinking of making that into maybe some uh, a pair of hand warmers or fingerless mitts uh, eventually or maybe i don't know maybe do something else with or a hat i'm not really sure yet but again this is one of my my completed items I really like how it turned out. Unfortunately, it's already getting warmer here, so I probably will not have a chance to try it out until next next year or until fall maybe, but that is okay with me. Really soft, I really love it. That's my first one. My second one, I did mention it to you guys last time that I was planning on making this. I showed you guys a vase. And this one, let me get it. This one is, uh, is or was inspired by the Yoshi games. Um, I just got a clear base. I showed it to you guys last time and I just knitted up a cozy for it. It looks like a pipe. This is what it looks like. I do have um, pages, project pages on my Ravelry for all my items. So there's more information there as well. Um, for the project page for this, uh, if you guys want to take a look, I do have a picture of what the pipes look like. In the game as well and this is what mine ended up looking like and again this is just a clear vase and this is just a cozy I made for the top of it I really like it uh, I start off with this part I made it tall enough to cover the vase of course um, I Kitchener stitched it together and then I picked up stitches at the top and it worked downward uh, for the I want to say cuff but you guys know what I mean uh, for the edge right here I could have gone up, I actually did go up I think a couple of middle sizes. I could have um, added more stitches here just so it's not that stretched out. I do, or I was thinking about maybe redoing that eventually but for now I think I'm okay with it. And I'm just keeping my um, my long needles in here or my non-circular <laughs> needles. That's my second project. Um, then I have a couple of hats and actually I didn't bring the second one okay let me show you this one first this is also a free pattern I believe it's called darn knit cable hats and I printed out the pattern I'm running out of ink so if you can't see it all that well I apologize but again uh, all the information will be on my Ravelry so look it up there but if you can see that's called darn knit cable hat and this only had one size, I think, which was an adult size. Um, it used, I think this was, um, if not worsted weight, it used, I think this one actually called for um, thicker yarn than that. Uh, but I had, I just picked up uh, some needles and what yarn I did have. I didn't mind if it ended up being smaller. So again, the pattern was written for an adult hat, but using a smaller needle and a thinner yarn for it, I ended up with, I would say a baby, maybe a, a child's hat, or you know how they um, how they size it up, like zero to three months kind of thing. Now that I've been making some baby hats recently, it's, it's definitely, I would say a baby hat, if not a child size hat. This is what mine looks like. And for this, I use some loops and threads. And for the pipe, I used a Red Heart Super Saver yarn. But this is Loops and Threads uh, yarn. I really like the pattern. It was really easy. 
I really do like how it comes out. Uh, for the bottom, I used, I think for the first inch or so, I used needles that were um, one size smaller than the ones on top just to kind of attempt to give it some kind of um, cuff, or what do you call it? I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, but I don't think it made much of a difference. So I think next time if I redo it, which I do plan to do, I think I'm really going to try to do it uh, per the pattern and make an adult size. Um, I'll just do it uh, all with one sized uh, needle, which the pattern, tell you, the pattern tells you to do. So anyway, I do like it a lot. I don't know why I don't do more cables because I really like the looks of those. I mean, I like how it looks. <laughs> so this is my third project. And I do have one more. Let me actually go grab it. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, this is my fourth item I finished knitting-wise. It is another hat. Um, and this is a free pattern as well. I don't know how this is going to come out for you guys, but this is like a navy or I would say just a blue, flat-out blue color. Uh, this is Red Heart Yarn, Red, Red Heart Super Saver. And it's just a simple hat, but it has this, this panel here, this lace pattern that's really pretty. But yeah, the rest is just a regular hat. I really like it a lot. Um, part of the pattern, actually, this is supposed to be a slouchy hat, but I did a, a couple of few fewer repeats at the top here, so it's more of a fitted hat, as you can see. Um, really like it. I would definitely do it again. It's a lot easier than it looks. At least uh, from what I, I saw at first, I thought it was going to be somewhat more difficult, but it definitely isn't. And again, this is the, uh, the side panel for it. I really like it. It's not, it hasn't been washed or anything, so I think it really will even it out once I do that. And the pattern for that, again, it is a free pattern. It's called the Plume Panel Hat. Let me show it to you guys. And again, for the pattern, I did do more repeats uh, to make it a slouchy hat. But again, I did fewer ones to make it more fitted. And if you guys want more information on that, I, again, I do have project pages on Ravelry where I um, noted my information or what I did with, with the projects I made. I'm really happy with that one as well. Uh, those are actually all my finished items knitting-wise. Uh, I am working on one item at the moment and I do have one other hat which I already made a project page for I, I don't recall the name of it but I'm pretty sure it's also a free hat as I'm on, again on Ravelry I haven't started on it yet though but the one I am working on right now the project is a pair of wrist warmers or fingerless mitts and this is a book and another book I checked out from the library is called Cozy Knits 50 Fast and Easy Projects from Top Designers. So check this out from the library. And if you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen the one I finished for this. Um, the fingerless mitts are called Green Gables Cabled Gauntlets. They look like this. It's really pretty. And I did finish one. I have actually not started on the second one yet. But let me try on the first one to show you guys. And I'm using this yarn. Um, I think it's on Barocco Vin Yeah, I think it's Barocco Vintage DK. I'm using a cable needle for this one. Although the cables are not are not so bad. You have to uh, move around stitches. Uh, I think either one stitch or two stitches. It's not so bad, but it's just that my gauge is so small that um, sometimes my stitches get lost or I drop stitches, which is why I'm using the cable needle. Otherwise, I usually wouldn't need one for uh, moving, you know, two stitches or less. But again, I finished one, and I need to sew in my end still. This is what the first one looks like. Really pretty. Uh, I really like the patterning for it. Uh, there was a couple of mistakes from what I noticed. Um, let me see if you can tell from here. Uh, this is like the hand section right here. Uh, and some of the, the little squiggly lines around here, some are smaller and some are bigger. 
uh, this is me following uh, that the pattern and I think at one point uh, when it came to connecting uh, the, the two sides again because you work back and forth for the thumb hole and then you connect again to work it in the round for the rest of the way um, when it came back to connecting it again uh, they had it reversed the way that the cables are supposed to go so I just changed that up as well and I added a few more repeats on the top just to make it as long as I wanted but again otherwise I really like the patterning really like how it's coming out um, also via the pattern uh, they make you do a one row of single crochet around the thumb hole, which I don't plan on doing. I don't think it's needed. But they're really pretty. I really love the color. Um, I actually had this skein caked up. If you guys have seen my, my previous videos, you know I have made one not too long ago um, showing you guys how I make my skeins of yarn into cakes. And I had picked out this green yarn uh, for some reason or other. And when I checked out this book and saw that, I was like, I have the yarn for it. <laughs> so that's what I ended up doing. And I made gauge with that one. So I definitely uh, wanted to, to, to work on it. Or to work this with that yarn. <laughs> but yeah, I really love it. I'm going to start the second one sometime sooner than later. Hopefully we'll definitely get it done by the next time I make a video for you guys. So that, that is my one work in progress um, for knitting wise. I think that's all as far as knitting right now. I do have a, a few crochet projects. I have two finished crochet projects and two works in progress. Uh, let me start with the first one. The first one is a pair of booties and this was also from a book I checked out from the library. I made a red pair maybe a couple of videos ago. Um, I showed you guys the book then and uh, again all the information will be in my Ravelry page as far as uh, the book, the title of the book. I don't recall actually what it was because I, I already returned it unfortunately so I can't show it to you guys again. But again you check out my previous videos or just check out the Ravelry page. Uh, these uh, are made using the, that same pattern uh, except uh, they're I think two sizes up. This is three to six months made a pair of baby booties really cute and I made the gray um, I used gray for the bottom this time and actually let me get one of the red ones okay so the red ones are the newborn size and then these are again I think three to six months really cute looking forward to teasing them <laughs> But that's my first work in progress. I mean, that's my work. That's my first finished object for crochet. The second one is kind of funny. Uh, this one is actually also a, a free pattern. Well, the booties, I think, is a paid pattern. Um, actually, I forgot if you're able to purchase that one on Ravelry or not. But you can definitely find it uh, in the book. Again, I have it listed in there in my project page as well. Uh, this one is a free pattern. It's called Chubby Mushroom. I printed it out and again, I'm running out of things. So I'm sorry if that picture does not show up that well. But you can definitely look it up on Ravelry. And this one is supposed to be a little mushroom looking uh, rattle for your baby. Ideally. <laughs> or just an amigurumi. I followed the pattern. Um, I did use a bigger hook. Um, I think they called for an, an F. I'm sorry, an E size hook. I use an F size hook. Uh, the yarn they use, they don't actually tell you what weight of yarn that they, they made the pattern with. Um, I used Red Heart Super Shaver. So usually with that I use a G hook. But I decided to go one down so I made sure the stuffing doesn't you know come out or anything. Since I assume if I give it to a baby it's going to be chewing on it. And my, mine came out pretty huge. I thought it was hilarious, but I just finished it up. <laughs> what do you guys think? Isn't that big? Like, it's big even for me, so I definitely don't think it's going to be the right size to give to a baby <laughs> or a newborn. Maybe eventually when it grows a little, I'm pretty sure it's going to be grabbing on things and chewing on them. So it's going to be using it eventually, but definitely not 
anytime soon probably but anyway it's a really cute pattern uh, via the pattern uh, I, I did follow it the only difference was I changed up the colors um, via the pattern that bottom is white I just used like a, a light tan color that was the only difference but I really like the pattern really cute I definitely would make it again and I'm actually thinking of um, I have to check what other colors I have and I was thinking either baby yarn or fingering weight because again this is worset weight being red heart super saver so if I have appropriate colors and a smaller yarn um, I assume it's going to make a smaller item of course using a smaller hook so I still need to, to see that otherwise I was going to try out some of the other patterns there's actually a lot of patterns um, free ones that you can you know you can definitely give a try and there's a lot of cute ones out there or otherwise I wouldn't mind making my own up so it just depends but this was hilarious for me but also cute at the same time uh, I think that's actually the only other one I finished crochet wise I do have one that's almost done and I don't know if I, I can say it's done because the crochet part is complete. I just need to finish putting it together. Uh, I think last time I showed it to you guys, I was working on a Tunisian crochet pillow with Space Invaders. Did I show it to you guys last time? I don't know if I showed it to you or if I just posted a picture on Instagram. I don't remember, <laughs> but I finished the panel. Um, this is it. I actually made a mistake in this one. And if you guys can tell me what the mistake is, or if you can spot the mistake, um, I give you props. <laughs> Maybe you can tell me what it is in the comment section if you happen to notice it. But uh, I've obviously, I finished the panel. Uh, I already, what is the word for that? I was gonna say I already stretched it out. I blocked it, there you go, I blocked it. So I'm in the process of sewing it to the backing and I'm like halfway done. So I'm really almost done with it. Uh, once I'm almost done sewing it together, I'm just gonna stuff it, of course, and then finish it off. And hopefully, hopefully, I'll get myself to post it up on my on my Etsy. I haven't posted anything new in quite a while, just because I've been so lazy as far as taking pictures and actually making the listings. So, but anyway, this one turned out pretty awesome. Uh, this one was using the white, it, I believe, is Red Heart Soft yarn. It was just some reclaimed yarn from a previous project. And the other yarn was my yarn pick for this month, which was some Burnett Mosaic yarn, uh, which is why you're getting the color transitions. Unfortunately, this, uh, this project was not big enough to get all the colors in. I do have quite a bit left still of the skein, which is this. Obviously, you didn't get that the greenish color in there. So, uh, with the rest of this, I plan to make. I was either going between either a hat or maybe like a sweater for, like a baby, some type of baby sweater or baby wearable thing. I still have to decide on what I actually want to make for it or make with this. I do have at least one more skein, so I do have quite enough of it to, you know, make a. A big project if I wanted to but yeah I'm just still iffy I, I don't know what I want to make with the rest of this but yeah, I'm almost done with it I definitely should be done with this in the next couple of days and last but not least I have one other item I'm working on crochet wise and this is I don't know what this would be called or what it would be considered as an amigurumi or a pillow let me see if I print a picture of it. Okay, this is also a free pattern on Ravelry. And the, the title is actually, not not just a title, the whole name, not, not I mean not just a whole name. The whole pattern, I think the pattern itself is from my blog, which is in a different language. So what I ended up doing was just copy and pasted that into the Google Translator, translated, translated the pattern for it but it did not translate the actual name of the pattern so I don't know how to pronounce it but it's just a fox again I would call it a migurumi slash pillow and being black and white you can't really tell but it's it's red 
Again, if you guys look it up, it is on my project page. Um, it is supposed to be a fox, I assume. So this is it. It's like a flat pillow in the shape of a, fo of a fox. It's really cute. Um, me trying to use up some of my stash. I'm making this in gray and I'm making it a wolf. Have a really huge ball of gray, which is what I'm using. I finished one of the legs, which looks hilarious by itself. This is one of the legs and I'm actually in the process of making a second one. So I need to do all four of the legs. And let me actually show you the pattern because it's pretty interesting how you put it together. They have little pictures there too, which is uh, really awesome and helpful. So once you finish the legs, uh, you make the, the snout and then you connect it all together. That way uh, you can continue working on the body from the bottom up. And I think at the end you just uh, crochet the ears and the tail and attach them as well. So I think this will be really adorable. Again, if you guys, just an FYI, or I'm pretty sure you guys already know that if there's a pattern you can't read because it's in a different language, you can definitely use a translator for it. So, I mean, it's not the hardest thing to figure out. Um, although for this one, and I don't remember what language it is, it, it was in originally, so I don't really know. I just know it was a language that I don't speak, <laughs> of course. Uh, but uh, some of the translations aren't, aren't exactly what they're meant to be, I'm pretty sure. Um, for example, for this one, uh, they tell you to crochet in the air, which what I assume means chain that number of stitches. Uh, that way you can continue crocheting on top of that kind of thing. Um, or at least that's how I've been reading it. Uh, so not everything is going to be the same, but if you're even familiar with crochet, or if you've been crocheting, for, you know, even if you're a beginner, I think some things like that should be easy enough for you to figure out. So if you guys any, if you guys ever have any patterns you can't read or send a different language, just use a translator. I think that is it as far as projects and knitting wise and crochet wise. I have not been really working on any spinning or anything else at the moment. So let me just move into some life stuff. I had an appointment last week. Uh, everything is looking good. It's looking fine. No complications. Um, everything is going as it should. I have an appointment this coming week as well. And the time is really flying by. Um, I am due on April 22nd. So I only have maybe like a month, like five weeks, something like that left, which is amazing to me. I'm really excited. Um, I'm actually not really nervous or, you know, or scared or anything. I'm just excited. I'm not even scared about the whole process of the kid coming out because <laughs> that used to gross me out a lot before, you know, back in the day, even thinking if I want kids or not. But now I think I'm just like, hey, it's going to happen. That's what the bodies of ladies do. That's what they're meant to do. So that it will be okay. I'm not even worried about it. I'm just kind of like excited and expecting. I'm just expecting already. And I really hope that if anything, it's a little earlier as opposed to later. Just because that will mean less waiting. So I'm just pretty excited about that. Uh, we have already set up the crib. Uh, we have a pack and play for the downstairs as well. Um... The only thing I, I guess I still need to do is wash the clothing just so it's ready for, you know, for him to wear. Um, wash all the items I made for him, uh, some of his blankets, etc. Just wash in general, as well as get the small stuff. Uh, you guys know that uh, I'm planning on getting small packages of uh, diapers, wipes, uh, all that kind of stuff. I want small packages in uh, or off or buy different brands uh, just to try them out and see which one will actually work for him as opposed to just stocking up now because again, it'd be my first. I'm not really even sure which I should give a try, honestly. So that's what, that's what I want to do. Just get the small packages of all that kind of stuff and just have it ready, ready to go. Uh, I was also working on putting the 
the seat, the car seat on last week sometime and I don't think I'm doing it right. <laughs> so I still have to actually figure that out and I do know that at least around my area uh, you can take it to or you can go to a police station and have them check it out. Uh, make sure that it's put on correctly uh, before the baby's actually born which I definitely plan on doing. So I need to do that as well. Um, we already took a hospital tour, oh, maybe like during, I don't even know if it was during the first trimester, I think it was maybe during the second trimester, the beginning of the second one. We already took a hospital tour just to see if that's where I wanted to be, uh, which I do. Uh, I did want to take it one more time. Uh, it is a free tour here. Just so I'm more aware, I don't remember exactly, you know, where the, ca the cafeteria is or uh, where exactly you know what floor I'm supposed to go to kind of thing. So I'm probably gonna try and take it one more time uh, Just so I'm more familiar with the whole the whole thing there. Um, I'll take it with my husband as well Since so he'll probably be the one getting me food and <laughs> and all of that What else do I need to do? I did get a, a couple of messages regarding uh, me uh, showing the baby or including you know, once it's born, including him or sharing him with you guys once he's here. Uh, um, I do not think I will end up doing that just because I'm really iffy uh, as far as having him out there on social media while he's a newborn. Um, I was even really iffy about me making videos because, I mean, be, being on social media is one thing, but when you're actually going to be, you know, out there publicly showing your face or putting yourself out there in that kind of way, uh, it's not the same as just, you know, having like a Facebook page or something like that. So, since I was that, if it took me quite a while to actually make videos because of that, because I, I wasn't sure that I wanted to be put out, you know, out there <laughs> in that way, so... I'm probably not going to be sharing him with you, sharing him with you guys. Unfortunately, I will definitely share um for those of you who want to who want to know, I'll share how he's doing. I probably will post a pictures as far as uh, showing what stuff I made him, like him him wearing it. You know, I made him like some little sweaters and booties and all that kind of stuff. I probably will post those pictures up, but if anything, I probably will be somehow blowing out the face. Or blocking the face out somehow or just not showing his face again just because I want to kind of avoid that until he can make his own decisions and if he wants to be out there on social media he definitely can you know that that kind of thing so I will not be having him in my this isn't a podcast but I won't be having him on air anytime uh, at least anytime soon and or, or probably even Facebook. I, I don't, I don't want to do that either. So if anything, uh, I think I will just share the pictures and stuff and videos with family. But I will not be sharing him with anyone else. Uh, I also got a couple of questions about uh, my registry. Um, I have registries in a number of places. Um, Walmart, Target, Baby Saras. Bye bye baby. I mean, there's so many, you know, Amazon, there's so many places you can have registries at. But I do also have one registry which uh, I think it's those that, that type of registry that you can just add anything from any any website on. So there I have things on there that are from various other sites. And the question was about whether I'm going to be sharing it with you guys or not. Uh, I know in one of my previous videos, and I don't remember which one it was, but I told you guys that I will not be having a baby shower just because I don't know many, well, I don't know any people <laughs> actually other than family who uh, will even, one, uh, I think would even care to come or that I actually want to invite. So I will not be having one. And because of that, uh, or I guess a part of that would be uh, not sharing with anyone else either. Not that I, I don't like you guys. You guys are pretty awesome. But I kind of feel like if I, you know, put my registry out there, I feel like that's somewhat like asking you guys or asking 
you know, anyone or yeah, asking anyone to give me stuff, which I definitely do not want to do. And you know, it's, it's just a little odd for me, I guess. Um, because then, you know, let, let's say I put it out there and I mean, I don't even know. I, I don't even know how I will feel like, it, like saying like, Hey guys, here's my registry. And then nobody responds, which again, is totally fine. It's not like I'm asking you guys to buy me anything, but I mean, uh, that would make me feel kind of bad at the same time. If you guys know what I mean, I, I'm sure you guys understand. So, um, I don't know if you guys even want to look at it. If anything, I would really appreciate you guys telling me what else should be on it. Uh, my registry is not all that detailed. Uh, it's just really general. Uh, right now, I actually took out a lot of stuff off from it because we we already bought it. Again, the bigger stuff like you know the, the swing or the bouncer or whatever it's called, uh, the crib, you know the pack and play. I mean, those are like the big big ticket stuff I took off because since I already have it, it I really just made the list as a reminder for myself what kind of stuff to get. So whatever is left on there is mainly the small stuff like I have a variety of you know different diapers on there, a variety of different baby bottles and it's not that I want those exact uh, brands or anything. It's just more of a reminder for me that I want to try, again I want to try different kinds just so I have a variety for him to try and see what works before I actually, you know, just pick one brand I know is good, uh, for, you know, for him and then just stock up on that kind of thing. So it's a lot of that. The same thing with the clothing. Oh, that, that kind of annoys me that since you don't know how big he will be when he's born, there's no way of knowing what size of clothing I need to buy especially for the beginning, you know, like I have no idea if he's going to be fitting into newborn clothing or zero to three months kind of thing. Uh, so far, I actually have enough clothing, I think. Um, and if anything, I would really appreciate clothing more for like six months and up just because I know, I, well, I have the least amount for that right now. Not, not that there's any rush, obviously, since he's not going to be that big right now. <laughs> But uh, if anything, I think that will be more helpful. And thinking about what kind of weather is going to be when he is that old, that kind of thing. Okay, so I was talking about the registry. Um, I think I just will include it down uh, in the link section um, of the video somewhere. Um, again, if you guys have any suggestions on what else should go on there, uh, please let me know. Um, again, I'm... This is my first time being pregnant. It's going to be my first kid. Uh, I haven't taken care of kids in 20 plus years since my cousin was born because I used to babysit her all the time. Um, so I've been doing my own research as far as the necessities. Um, I think I have most of them on there, if, if anything. But if you guys have any tips or maybe uh, for those moms out there or in general, if you guys have any uh, specific items that you you used a lot or your kids used a lot or you know no one told you about but you found out that they're really helpful etc please let me know I uh, I would I really would appreciate that so I can uh, look them up see if it's something I would like to add as well uh, etc so that's what I will be doing um, I don't know if I'm gonna be posting that on my Facebook page because well, you guys have checked out my Facebook page. Um, I don't know if you... Well, actually, I actually don't recall if I have both down there or not. I have a personal Facebook page as well as a Facebook page for Melon Shop. So for the one uh, for Melon Shop, uh, that is where I share my videos such as this. Um, that's where I share uh, anything I post on my blog sometimes or any of my Etsy listings sometimes. Um, but on my personal page, I don't really post anything relating to that. Uh, I think some of my Instagram pictures go on there. And my Instagram pictures are, recently have been more crochet and knitting wise. So those do make it on my personal page. But as far as people knowing, I have an, Et an Etsy, well, I think that's also listed on my personal somewhere. But as far as I'm knowing, I have a YouTube channel. I don't think everyone knows that just because I don't share it there. No specific reason why. 
I guess. It's just that, well, honestly, sometimes, especially back in the day, uh, you know, when I just started the, the videos and stuff, I was feeling kind of, I don't know, self-conscious or what do you call it? I felt a little embarrassed uh, that I had videos up. <laughs> I guess I find it a little bit embarrassing that uh, because not everyone on my a friends list on my personal page I actually know in person um, and I don't talk to them daily or some, some people are just um, like I met through you know other YouTube channels etc which that, that's not really a problem but a lot of them I met through gaming you know gaming sites or uh, gaming forums etc so I think I just felt a little embarrassed to actually you know show that like hey I'm making videos about knitting or you know yarn in general so I think because of that I just never really shared that part of my life on my Facebook personal page there so anyway because of that um, I did share I was pregnant I did share it um, to an April so I'm really thinking if I want to share the uh, my, my list what is it called on oh, my registry there or not I think it probably will but again because they're never gonna see this video probably I mean I, I would still feel like if I post it there without any explanation I, I would just feel like I'm asking for stuff you know what I mean so I don't I don't know if it's gonna be going up there but if anything again if you guys want to take a look and please not I'm not asking you to buy me anything um, like I said if anything I'm asking for suggestions you don't even have to take a look at it just tell me what your favorite items were, etc. Uh, if you have any, and I will be glad to look them up. Again, maybe they can help a new mom like myself. Okay, enough about the registry. <laughs> I think that's all for now, guys. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.